Welcome to the Max Beehive Strip application video. Nod Apiary Products and BASF have been in partnership since 2008 to provide beekeepers with a sustainable solution to control the invasive mite, Varroa Destructor. The Max Beehive Strip is an innovative solution that controls the Varroa mite by harnessing an organic acid called formic acid. The strip's innovation makes the formic acid molecule sticky, which helps to penetrate the brood cap, targets mites where they reproduce, and arrests the transmission of viruses. The Max Beehive Strip is a seven-day treatment that should be used as part of an integrated Varroa control program. High mite loads throughout the beekeeping season can result in higher winter losses. Applying Max can help reduce these losses. Typically, treatments are needed in the spring to protect the summer bees, and again in the autumn to protect the bees that will make up the winter cluster. Max can be applied on single or double brood chamber standard Langstroth equipment or equivalent. The colony cluster should cover a minimum of six frames. Take care to disturb the colony as little as possible during the application process. Colonies should have good food reserves at time of treatment and should not be fed during treatment. When applying Max, be safe and follow the special precautions as outlined on the label. Wear chemical resistant gloves and beekeeping protective clothing. Have water readily available and avoid inhalation of the vapor by standing upwind of the product. Outside daytime temperature highs should be between 10 and 29.5 degrees Celsius on the day of application. Temperatures above this range during the first three days of treatment may cause excessive brood mortality and queen loss. Colonies require adequate access to fresh air during treatment. An entrance must be provided that is the full width of the hive, typically the bottom board entrance. The bottom hive entrance needs to be fully open, full width of the hive and a minimum height of 1.3 centimeters for the entire duration of the treatment. Entrance reducers must be removed to prevent excessive damage to colonies. If your hive entrance has obstructions between the landing board and the brood chamber, the brood chamber can be tipped back to meet the hive entrance requirements. Use wedges to hold the brood chamber in place. If your hive has permanently reduced entrances, add an extra brood box or super. Set it back by two centimeters or add shims to the bottom board to lift up the boxes. Max can be applied during the honey flow without contaminating the honey crop. Formic acid is naturally occurring in honey and is not lipophilic. Therefore, it does not leave residues in the honeycomb or in the wax. Carefully remove two strips from the sachet by cutting across one end, lifting the seal so the plastic comes away from the strips, and then cut along the seal line for the whole length of the sachet. Carefully separate the strips. Do not remove the paper wraps. For hives with single brood chambers, lay two strips across the top bars of the frames of the brood chamber, staggering them so they lie flat and across the full width of the hive body. For hives with two brood chambers, place the strips as described previously on the top bars of the lower hive body so the strips are in between the brood chambers. Put on honey supers if required to provide adequate space for strong colonies to expand or if a honey flow is anticipated. It's acceptable to have queen excluders in place. Colonies are expected to expand the cluster as part of controlling vapor concentration during the first three days of treatment. Bearding behavior may be observed. Verify if your colony is queen right one month after treatment. Mother and daughter queens present post-treatment is not uncommon. Treat all of your bee colonies in the apiary at the same time. Allow a minimum of one month between applications. As part of your integrated Varroa control program, perform regular mite checks throughout the season to ensure Varroa levels are under control. Treat for mites when the economic threshold for your area is reached. The strips do not need to be removed from the hive after the application period. If they are removed, dispose of by composting. Application, temperature, hive strength, configuration, and ventilation are key to a successful treatment. Max Beehive Strips helps bees to build healthy, vibrant beehives. To connect with Nod and beekeepers around the world, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Remember, this video is not a substitute for following the complete application instructions described on the label. Always read and follow the label.